Hi, Barson here from Mass Opinion Magazine with a part two of my rundown of 2022. Uh, in part one, I looked at my top album releases of that year, my top 20, and in this video, I'm going to look at my top 20 reissues and box set things from the last 12 months. So let's dive straight in and go at number 20. And number 20 is Pink Floyd. What's he doing holding this box up? This didn't come out in 22. Didn't did it, bear with me. Because what I've done, because space is, is always an issue for us collectors, but I found out when I bought this, um, wherever, <laughs> wherever it is, that it fits. As you can see, I'll, I might review this box set separately. But when I bought the, um, the remix of Animals, it actually fits in the box. So number 20 is my remix of Animals by Pink Floyd, which I absolutely really enjoyed. Um, it's Some people I think didn't, but I think it adds a great deal to it. And uh, I bought the CD and I absolutely love it. So number 20 is Animals by Pink Floyd, which I've managed to fit into my discovery box, which I'm very pleased about. At number 19, is Gary Moore, which I reviewed on this channel um, not that long ago, a different beat. Very different to what you might expect from Gary Moore, but I've been playing it a great deal. So that is at number 19. And at number, not more vinyl, is at number 18, and that's Jimi Hendrix, um, the Los Angeles Forum. Um, I've reviewed this on the channel, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but you need to hear tax free from this if you're unsure whether to buy it. Uh, as I say, I went for the vinyl, but absolutely superb. Right, at number eight, no, number 17 is Celtic Frost, the box set from BMG, um, a Dance Macabre, and I, I have reviewed this on the channel, so you can find this if you just use my little search bar, but again, very well put together. And the way I've put this list together is not just based on the music especially for the reissues it's on the actual package the physical package as well and i think bmg did a very very good job on this uh, great booklet and in little gate fold sleeves excellent stuff okay at number 16 is vicious rumors which came out via cherry red and again this has been reviewed on on the, on the website and on the channel. And I'm hoping to interview one of the band for the Now Spinning Magazine podcast very, very soon. This also may confuse some of you. Um, Cheap Trick, which I reviewed last year. Now, the reason why this is on the list is because it's a reissue. And it's something that I hope we see more of because so many of the box sets that I feature in, on my reviews, and I do a feature where I talk about box sets you may have missed, is so many of them are out of print, especially Jethro Tull. But this has been out of print and sheer, pure demand. It was repressed uh, by Music on CD uh, and it's absolutely fantastic box set. So thank you, uh, Music on CD and Sony Music for bringing this back out to us music fans. Superb. Next up, I have also reviewed this separately with Man from Cherry Red Records, Esoteric Recordings, Life on the Road, 1972 to 1983. Highly recommended that. Next was John Martin, which I haven't done a review of yet um, because I've been watching it over Christmas. And this is The Apprentice, and it's a great little box set. And the DVD um, features, obviously, Dave Gilmore when he came on stage to jam on, you know, his, his guitar playing. Both of the stars, John Martin and Dave Gilmore, they're so complimentary. So I'm going to do a separate review for that. John McLaughlin and the Montreux years. Now, technically, is this a reissue or... Well, it's, it's vintage recordings. Uh, so it comes in, it's a nice little booklet, um, media book. And the, the, the tracks that he's chosen, they, they're all from different dates, um, but they work together as a concert. I just hope he releases all of them. I imagine he's cherry-picked this because he's very... He's probably a very physically guy, isn't he, being a jazz player? Um, but just let it go, John. Um, this was fantastic. More, please. It wouldn't be a review of the year if I didn't find some way of putting Deep Purple in it, would it? Bombay Calling, 2CD, 
one DVD set, um, which was available on a DVD before in the early 90s. It's a great recording, actually. It's one of the first recordings with Steve Morse in the band. So you've got like tracks like The Battle Rage is On, Perpendicular Waltz, um, and your sector, which didn't normally get played that often so but it's it's well worth it and I'm very happy to have that in my Deep Purple collection. Next will be a name that I struggle with which is Stamu Yamashita, a box set from Cherry Red Esoteric called Seasons which I have reviewed on the channel um, but it's highly recommended and it was a great way of bringing together the albums that are so hard to find now. Next was from the Demon Music Group, which again is something I reviewed extensively here, which is Steve Ellis, 10 CD box set called Finchley Boy. Um, came a great booklet and this one was autographed as well. Um, just absolutely remarkable. There's so much music to, to, to look at on here. Every, if there were any stones that were left unturned, um, they must be still looking for them uh, because everything to do with Steve's career is on here. Absolutely fantastic. Some brilliant stuff. Way beyond Widowmaker if you're into rock music and the love affair, but absolutely fantastic stuff. So at number eight is more vinyl and it's Roy Gallagher. Where has this been? This was a record store release. Um, live in San Diego, 1974. It's absolutely mind blowing. Messing with a kid, Cradle Rock, I Wonder Who, Hands Off, a Million Miles Away, Bullfrog Blues and In Your Town. It's just absolutely amazing and highly recommended. And no, it's not on CD, um, but, but it's absolutely superb. Roy Gallagher, live in San Diego, 1974. At number seven is Van de Graaff Generator, which I did a separate review for. Some people said, why isn't it the same shape as the first box? Well, it's a different record label, it's a different set of things, but this was absolutely packed, you know, with discs. Look at that. Absolutely packed and absolutely, it introduced me to a part of their career that I was not familiar with at all. So Esoteric, Cherry Red, again, um, I can say at this point, uh, my, my my favourite reissue label of 2022 was Cherry Red Records and everything that's underneath that umbrella term, Esoteric, uh, is it Grapefruit, um, Cherry Tree, um, all of them, um, H&E recordings, absolutely fantastic. So that was number seven. And so at number six is yet another one by Cherry Red. And this is Strawberry Recordings, also part of them. And this is the Harry Chapin storybook, the Electra albums, um, 1972 to 1978. And uh, again, this has been reviewed on this channel, so you can find the video elsewhere. But I thought that was absolutely fantastic. So is the next one by Cherry Red by any chance? Um, yeah, it is. And this time it's rock and roll to the max. And it is Silverhead featuring the superb Michael DeBars on vocals, who again has been featured on a Now Spinning Magazine podcast. So check out that interview if you've not seen it already, which I hope you have. Um, but this is, this was fantastic. Um, really, really loved it. There's so many box sets that could have made this list. Um, some of them might think it was Cactus, at number 21. Um, but uh, but this is this was great. And, and, and I love Silverhead and um, absolutely brilliant box set. The next one isn't by Cherry Red um, and I haven't reviewed it for this channel yet and it is Humble Pie 1970 to 1975 um, the 8 CD box set which came out it was a repress it was original on vinyl and the fact that it's been reissued by Universal on CD says a lot about you doubters who think that CD is defunct the fact that they were seeing there was an audience for this and yeah it's quite pricey the, the price kind of fluctuated between 65 and 85 pounds over Christmas um, but the, the sound, the, the book, because it is a book, um, everything about this is absolutely brilliant, absolutely fantastic. So that is at number four. So what is at number three? It's Cherry Red again. And I think this was this was their best box set for me of 2022. Um, and I think this is one of the best ones they've done. 
you could say there's others on the you know going back through the year before Stephen Wolf etc and this is similar to that it's sinning for you by the Keith Hartley band I just thought this was brilliant and I've reviewed this on this channel so again you can find more detailed review and going through the, the boxes and the booklet and everything but not only that the music was well worth exploring in 2022 if you'd missed it first time around which I did um, but it was it sounds timeless everything about it was being put together with love and care and that's the great thing about you know the box sets that I picked is that they've all been put together with the thought of the fan first fan first yeah, that sounds like some, some put to some kind of strap line really you know if you're a record label thinking about putting things out put think of the fan first and you'll do well you really will but that that is at number three in my top box set reissue of the year and every home should have one number two is enormous um and i haven't reviewed this yet but it's oh, it's blondie against the odds uh 1974 to 1982 um it's the book is very much like a mad fish book for wishbone ash or um or ian hunter or something it's absolutely or caravan uh, no this isn't a cheap set this is a cd version um but i it, but i feel it's got all the albums in 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 separate sleeves and i will do an unboxing video on this i'm not going to try and do it now um but this is number two in my list of the best box sets of 2022 <laughs> and number one i don't think those of you who watch this channel will be surprised as i make room for this um that what is number one <laughs> but it couldn't be anything else really and it's the alan parsons um complete albums box set on vinyl you've hoped well there's a massive unboxing video on this um on the channel and i know that went down very well with people and i know that lots of you went out and bought it because there are only 1500 copies available worldwide um but so i'm not going to go through all of this now but it's it is it is beautiful um it's absolutely stunning and i absolutely adore it you know for me it was perfect because apart from a few albums and i've got a few cds um you know it's just it's something that just thought yes i'm gonna you know that that is fantastic and I've, I've recommended it and anyone who's i've heard back from quite a few of my patrons who've gone ahead and bought it and they all absolutely love it um everybody just thinks this is so well put together it's like i've said all the box sets i've picked from a review of 2022 have all been put together fan first um you know sometimes autographed by the artist and they are works of art. The music is the art. Um, without a doubt, the music is the art. And so a lot of you music execs go, yeah, 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 the music is the art, you know, sitting there, we're all syndicating music from one place to the other and playlists and, and, and stuff like and sync teams and everything. But remember, the package is also part of the art. The musicians can talk and communicate through the music, but through the imagery, the times, the memories, the, you know, the, the whole way that things like this put together is what makes it, which is what makes this so special for collectors. We are collectors. We're not hoarders. You know, we are, we are people that love music and love just looking at it. And I've said on other videos, you know, that just taking these things off the shelf and going through it again and looking at the booklet and thinking, yeah, that, I, I want to look up where that track came from. Did he write that one? Who was the bass player on it? Yeah, we are interested in those kind of things. Who was the bass player on it? And, um, you know, and the, the artwork and who designed it? Who designed the artwork? Who produced it? What, what else did they work on? And again, final th thoughts to, to Sony Music, who reissued the Cheap Trick set. There are so many box sets as new fans come along and they start to think, oh, this is really good. I've discovered this from their older mates or they're, they're someone, at, you know, they've, they've streamed something on someone's playlist and it's made them go down a rabbit hole. Uh, rabbit holes are good for music collectors. And they go and find out there was a box set that came out five or six years ago, but it's gone now. You know, th these things have short runs. And so there is a market still there. Oh, I'm waffling on again, sorry. Um, but that is my 
That is my review of 2022 and my favorite box sets of that year. And don't, if you've just found this video, don't forget to watch um, episode one of my review. I'll just look at, um, you know, the album releases, my top 20 album releases of 2022. But thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. So take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I shall see you on my next video.